If you want to scale your business, you need to focus on strengthening your business essentials. When we are starting out, ang iniisip natin are the basics. Ano yun siya? You provide a service, you get paid for that particular service. Yun lang. Well, that's a good thing to start, but you, you have to scale it a little bit para mas maging maganda yung takbo na negosyo mo. In any business, freelancing, trading, agriculture, construction, restaurant, or any business for that matter, there will always be four essential parts kasi niyan. First is what we call operations. Yung operations natin is how do we deliver our services to our client. Kailangan nila ng video editing services mo. Example lang, you're a video editor. How do you give it to them? Ano yung sistema mo nun? Saan mo ba i-upload yung mga videos? Diba? Ano bang tools ang ginagamit mo? You need to streamline that. If you're a graphic designer, you may be using Canva or Photoshop. Kasi yung operations, yan kasi yung reason kung bakit bibili yung client sa'yo. It's because of how good you are, at the same time, how you help them scale their business. So hindi lang tayo take, kundi we also have to think in behalf of the client as to how we can help them scale their business because when they grow, you grow with them. So that's why investing in, in yourself, investing in your skills, your knowledge is very important. Sometimes lang, we're too much focused on yung mga technical skills. No? Napakagaling mong video editor, napakagaling mong copywriter, napakagaling mong graphic designer, but you can't even talk to clients. So paano mong maklose yung deal in the first place? Even if you are the best, person to deliver a certain task. But if you do not know how to market yourself, wala kang makukuha na client. Therefore, yung second part ng, ng business essential is what we call marketing. Magaling ka nga, walang nakakaalam na magaling ka. Sayang, di ba? So dapat magaling ka and you also know how to market it. That's the power of maximizing social media. You post on Facebook, you post on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube Shorts, LinkedIn. Doon mo i-amplify or i-broadcast how good you are. You can showcase your case studies, your thought process. The moment people get to know you, meron kang eventually makukuha na sales. If your business is not generating sales, ang tawag po doon, charity. Lahat po ng negosyo kailangan ng pera. Meron kang in-offer na service, ginawa mo yung service, kailangan niyang bayaran yun. And besides that, you also need to have a relationship with your client. No? So when building sales, it's a transaction and a relationship. The reason why you need to think about sales also, kasi yung operations, expense yan. Yung marketing, expense rin yan. Saan mo kukunin yung pera pambayad sa expenses mo? Income, sales. Since tumaki yung sales, ang ginawa, ginastos lahat ng profit. Oh, wow. Sana all. That is why financial management is highly important. This is where your cash flow comes in, your income statement comes in, and your balance sheet comes in. 